Perhaps you have seen the ultra-large micro-LED TV, in which each LED is made of a sub-pixel at least once in a TV commercial, even if it is not the real thing. Recently, Samsung and LG have launched large-scale 4K resolution screens of 100-inch at a price of $150,000 and are conducting extensive marketing. Samsung is releasing it under the brand The Wall and LG under the brand Magnet. Micro-LED TV, which uses an LED chip as one sub pixel, has theoretically the best performance among the all existing TV types. It overwhelms existing TVs in all aspects, such as nanoseconds level of response time and high electrical efficiency that cannot be compared with existing TVs and excellent visibility even outdoors. The TV panel manufacturing method uses a method to increase productivity by manufacturing multiple modules and then attaching them precisely so that no seams are visible. It has been announced that micro-edit TVs will also be sold for home use this year. How much would it be and with what specification will it be released? Can we really come close to your expectations? Let's look at this issue today. AK TV consists of 7,680 by 4,320 pixels horizontally and vertically, and each pixel is again composed of red, green, and blue sub pixels. Therefore, if you make an AK resolution TV using micro LEDs, you need about 100 million micro LEDs regardless of TV size. The size of micro-LED chip currently used in the ultra-large micro-LED TV is about 200 microns. If we compare the size, as you can see in the video, the size is even smaller than the 200 micron by 400 micron MLCC capacitor produced by Samsung Electromechanics. These LED chips are manufactured by cutting small compound semiconductors grown by MOCVD on sapphire wafers. As shown in the previous video, on a 4-inch sapphire wafer, up to 170,000 chips can be produced that can produce LED chips with a size of 200 microns. Therefore, if 100 million chips are to be used for AKTV production, Chips produced from the 588 4-inch wafers are required. However, the price per wafer that went through the LED manufacturing process is about $300. Therefore, the LED chips used to produce one AK TV will cost $176,000. In reality, the transfer process of transferring the chips on the wafer to the TV panel is also a problem. But the fact that the chip price required for an AK TV of 100 inch or less is $176,000 means that there are still significant obstacles for micro LED TVs to form home market. Samsung's 110 inch The Wall sells for $150,000, but the resolution is 4K, not 8K. If an AK resolution TV was produced and sold, the price would be over $300,000. The price of the chip alone reaches $180,000. This is why they launched 4K resolution ultra-large TVs as their flagship model instead of 8K resolution. Now let's think about what alternatives are available. If the width and length of the chips are down to 100 microns, up to four times the chip can be produced on a 4-inch wafer. The price of 100 million chips required for AKTB will be reduced to $44,000. And if the chip size can be further reduced to 50 microns, the chip price required for AKTB will be reduced to $11,000. It is still expensive to say that the price of 50 micron size chips alone is $11,000, but another problem arises. At present, 
there is no proper way to transfer the 50 micron size chips from the wafer to the TV panel to be produced. So far, they have used the method mainly used to transfer 100 micron size parts called the pig and place to the PCV. To briefly explain the principle of operation, it is a device that performs work by grabbing minute parts with the tip of a vacuum applied needle and moving them to the desired location. However, there is no equipment that can reliably and quickly move parts smaller than 100 microns in size, and most of them have been used to move parts larger than 200 microns in size. To solve this problem, new methods are being announced, and the representative one is the stamping method developed by Accelerprint, which attaches the micro-LED chip to the plate as if stamping it, and then moves it back to the desired place. The roll-to-roll method developed by the Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials is also representative mass transfer method, allowing a large amount of micro-LED chips to be planted in the desired position on the substrate in a short period of time. The problem is that even if the transfer yield is 99.99%, more than 10,000 transfer defects occurs out of 100 million chips, and the repair itself becomes almost impossible. Many companies and universities have developed these methods for a long time, but it is expected that it will take a considerable time to increase the reliability and accuracy for actual production application. In conclusion, in order to compete with the existing mini-LED or OLED TVs, it should be possible to produce a chip with a size of 25 microns or less and develop a high-quality mass production method that can transfer it to the substrate, regardless of the size of the TV. Until these are resolved, AK resolution micro-LED TVs will sell for over 100,000 dollars, regardless of the size of the TV. This price is more than five times the recently released AK 85-inch mini-LED TVs. And if the current modular assembly method is used as it is, the seam is highly likely to be noticeable in simple and slow images due to the characteristics of home TVs that are viewed from a relatively close distance. This is also an issue that needs to be thoroughly addressed. Still, would you buy a micro-LED TVs? This is it for today. Goodbye.